Hello, welcome to Spurvert. I'm here with Craig Mitch. How are you yeah. doing? Yeah, I could be better, but I'm happy still. Got his knee all strapped up. Yeah. Thinks he's a pro footballer. No, Stone Cold Steve Mitch, actually. <laughs> right, has he famously got his knee strapped up? Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, uh, I know who you meant. Yeah. I just don't know if he's got... Anyway, that's not football related. Yeah. Uh, but still sport. Good stuff. <laughs> anyway, here's what we're excited about this week. Mainly, the Bournemouth result and the Bournemouth performance. You were there. Tell yeah. me all about it. It was amazing. Uh, we completely rolled them over. To be fair, they weren't great. They have a lot of injuries, but at the end of the day, quality prevailed. We was the team on form. Yeah. Harry Kane stepped back up. Um, Eric Lamella got on the score sheet, always good. And Dembele got a goal for the first time in that like That is why years. you keep Lamella in your fantasy team against all odds. When everyone oh. in the comments is telling me to get rid of him, I was getting tweets with Spurred on tagged in it saying, Reese, get rid of Lamella during the game. Ah. And then he goes and scores. Ha, ha. suckers. Ha. That's how you do it. But other than that, I've been in fantasy rants, amazing performance, and uh, hopefully we can just carry that into the Villa game. Yes, exactly, that is what we need. And obviously, our boy Harry Kane, as you said, he's oh, back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got oh, himself on the score yeah. sheet. Not once, not twice. Thrice. Exactly, thrice. 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 I you going to say three times, but thrice has thrown me. Oh, thrice. He just, do you know what? He realised Vardy is trying to do bits. Do bits means go in. Go right, in okay, means sorry. play well. He's trying oh. to do bits, Vardy. Oh, Vardy, oh, slow down, okay? <laughs> Slow the hell down. Yeah. Know your place. If you do happen to play for England by a miraculous thing next year, be on the wing. Stay over there against the likes of San Marino. Let the big boys handle this, okay? And Sturridge, you got your nose pierced, you fit your two pack now. You can stay out of the flipping frame as well. Can you Harry explain two pack to me as well. Two packs and nose piercing. Right, okay. So cool. Don't call Steve Austin, where's the knee brace? Two pack, nose, nose piercing. piercing. There right, you cool. go. Eric Mello, Harry bad Kane. haircut. Harry Kane's going to do bits. Thank you very much. Oh, Harry yeah. Harry Kane will be doing the bits from now on. Love Thank that. you, James Vardy. Harry Kane. How did that go? Good. I'll get you the Urban Dictionary next week. Smashed it. Sweet. Right. Do you think that Harry Kane's goals are a bit easy? Uh, yeah. I they're mean, the best kind, right? When you're a striker who needs a couple of goals, yeah. get a couple of tap ins, get a penalty. I mean, one of them wasn't right. a tap in, to be fair. I mean, Ericsson nice. played an, an amazing ball through. He was just had a lot of pace whipped in, and Harry Kane literally ran and latched onto it. So that was yeah. a good goal. The other two, yeah, you know, penalty, scruffy, but he worked for the penalty. But they're the ones he's been missing as well. Yeah, he's he been has missing been those fair. ones. And he also, has. he's not really been getting that much service. No. Nah. That this season. He's been creating a lot of fun. Finally, he gets some and he does start burying them. I mean, he has missed some chances earlier, but mm. this is this boded well. This me. is it. This is officially, we've said it before, but this is the turning point, okay? And we mean it when we say turning. We're not like these Chelsea fans. Well, oh, every week, oh, this is the turning point. Yeah, we... fine, I'll, I'll get on board with it. Yeah. Harry Kane's going to do bits for the rest of the season. Yeah! This is the turning That's point. That's it, Reece. Now he's going to get three goals a game, uh -huh. every game for the rest of the season. Get him in your fantasy team, along with Lamella. He's going to go ham. Hard yeah. as a. Okay, well, can't wait for that to be bleeped. Um, <laughs> amazingly, though, despite all of this, yeah. that was not the most exciting incident of the match, was it? No, it wasn't. What was? Uh, so, a one slats, uh, Barnaby Slayer, as you may know him, uh, accidentally had his mic kind of tuned into the frequency of the tannoy in the yeah. form of stadium. And while everyone else had no idea who it was, one man did, Reese. One man did. One man saved the day. I saved the job. I saved the life. He could have had kids. He probably had a wife. I saved your career, mate. It was all because of me. But you have buried Barnaby's career. So, <laughs> oh, swings yeah, around about. I'd say double positive as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, but it is amazing. It's lucky that you were there. Yeah. Otherwise, Barnaby would never have found out that was him. No. Nope. That guy would have got sacked. Yep. You, are, you are responsible for... I am. Two lives. Not just that, I'm also responsible for over 270 articles up and down the country <laughs> in publications. Have you been counting? I want some credit. You've been counting the articles. No, I'm just assuming. But I want credit, guys. How credit. You? You're not getting a name credit. check in any of them. No. Just Barnaby. Just stealing all the plaudits. You know, he said my name in the video. Can you even put a little picture of me? Yes, Glenn, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, no credit. Wow. No, I'm joking. Yeah, no, it was funny. The whole thing was funny. Great. I'm, I'm gutted to have missed it. I had to follow it on BBC Sport and watch all the vines of all the goals. So you're and just... It's very disappointing. I missed the whole thing. I watched it on Match of the Day too, but that's you it. missed the game. Yeah, I missed the game. So you're like game. a Kim Kardashian fan. Plastic. Yes, I'm a fan of Kim Kardashian. No, you're plastic. She's a lovely, lovely woman. All right. The bright future ahead of her and a dark past. <laughs> anyway, this has been Spurverts. These are things we're excited about. This is part one. Make sure you check out part two of Spurverts. We'll be talking about transfer rumours and all that sort of stuff. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and keep it formal. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to part two of Spurverts. In part one, we found out that Reese James uh, doesn't watch Spurs. How dare you? 